All right, so Dwayne Askins gets released after uh, our show ends, and they're going to most likely, because it sounds like to me, even though they're holding out hope for Alex Smith, it sounds like to me that Taylor Heineke is going to be the quarterback. It does. Like, they don't want to close the door on Alex Smith, but it just sounds like it's going to be Taylor Heineke. Now, I could spin this a couple of ways. I think what Washington is thinking about is, all right, we got the distraction out of here. We don't have to worry about whether he's going to start or not. He's not even on the team, so let's forget about that. Let's focus on Taylor Heineke being the quarterback. If Alex Smith can play, awesome. That's great. That's what we want. But let's go. Now, singularly focused on winning this game, but and maybe that works for Ron Rivera, and that defense is really good. But to me, you've got an Eagles team that does not want to go out embarrassed now they might be dead they could be dead with the way that they blew that lead and and that would that would lay a defeat of Doug Peterson if they are dead but I don't think they want to end the season on two bad losses to division teams I think that Jalen Hurts wants to go out and be great in that last game to prove that he is the guy for the Philadelphia Eagles and I don't think that four quarters of Taylor Taylor Heineke in the NFL is going to win a game that's going to get your team to the playoffs so you know I love Philadelphia in that game so the Giants should feel good about what happened yesterday, quite frankly, even though Dwayne Askins playing might have helped them as well. I think the Giants are in a good spot. I think the blueprint for Washington is what they've done already a few weeks ago, the win in San Francisco. That's the blueprint. Yeah. Don't turn the ball over and go beat them up defensively. It's also why I thought they'd beat Carolina, except what did they do? They turned the ball over three times, and you're not going to beat One teams. for uh, six. Yeah. yeah, and you're just not going to beat teams in the NFL if you don't take care of the football. So I will go back to the question I presented to you yesterday, which to me is even more illuminated today after you waved Dwayne Haskins yesterday. Why start him Sunday? Because you can. yesterday your answer was, and I, I didn't argue with you. I guess you were right, that you know Ron Rivera felt Dwayne Haskins gave him the best. No, he didn't. The best chance to win was to go out and not turn the ball over and have your defense dominate an average offense. And I think he made a mistake. I yeah. really do. He, he might have believed that. That might have been the reason that Dwayne Haskins was the best option. But he was wrong. He was clearly wrong. Now, we say that now. You know, Taylor Heineke might throw four picks on Sunday. I don't know. If given the opportunity, you're right. I mean, he came in in garbage time in a game that was easily decided. They went up and down the field. One time they... Uh, ended up not scoring the next time that they did. I don't know what he's going to do. I mean, at that point, the Carolina Panthers were like, so what? You know, like, complete a bunch of passes in front of us. We don't care. And I don't really know what change, because it is a dramatic change from starting him on Sunday him. to cutting him. Yeah. So, I mean, if you were real, if you were already done with Dwayne Haskins because of the maskless fiasco, then starting him makes no sense. So And also there was some stuff about how it wasn't Dwayne Haskins' fault that he didn't talk to the media. So I don't know how true that was, too. Me neither. Because it would have made sense if, if Dwayne Haskins had blown off the media and something happened in the locker room after the game. He just left, didn't talk to anybody, whatever. And then Ron Ferris said, all right, enough of this. I mean, this guy can't even be accountable for what's going on, and we're going to have to cut him. But then we had heard reports that, that someone from the – Washington PR staff had said, no, Taylor Heineke's going to talk to the media. You don't have to. And he went home. And that's why I went home. So Dwayne Haskins is in a point where he's only got one way to go if he's going to stay in the NFL, and that's up yeah. because this is as bad as it possibly gets. This is a 15th overall pick just a couple years ago. It's it's absolutely incredible. And right now without a team. I, it's To think about how Washington has had you know the issues that they have had at that position, I mean, from RG3 having that ridiculous rookie season to him getting hurt and never being the same, and then the whole issue with him and Dan Snyder being friends, and then RG3 being persona non grata with the other teammates. I mean, to moving on to Dwayne Haskins, to bringing in Alex Smith, and then having, well, Alex Smith was first before Dwayne Haskins. You know, having Alex Smith have that injury after signing him to a big deal, to him coming back and being your best option to cutting Dwayne Haskins. I mean, this is an education on how to be a stagnant franchise. But also, on the other hand, they've built that defense beautifully. Mm -hmm. They've used a bunch of first-round picks on defensive linemen that are impactful, and they that's how they can win. I mean, if you talk about all the teams that are left, and you talk Dallas offense, Dallas defense, Giants offense, Giants defense, Washington offense, Washington defense, that Washington defense is by far the best unit out no of doubt. all of them. No doubt. 
So you got to give him credit for that. But my Lord, what a mess with the quarterback. I mean, that's even worse than the two teams we talk about here and the Jets and Giants, what's gone on there. They, well, I mean, they, and they've been run poorly for years and years and years. I mean, you can even look at the whole coaching situation, if you want, and how that carousel has been turning for years and years and years. And maybe now with Ron Rivera, they got their guy. Um, but, you know, big free agent signings that haven't worked. I mean, they've tried putting it together in different ways, and it seems like there's never been one singular focus on how they're going to do it. It's kind of like just piece it together, and now we got our team. And then they go 7-9 and nine or 8-8, eight and eight, and they're not what they expected. We'll go get this guy. Now we'll draft this guy. And it has it just hasn't seemed to work. And, and I know they've won a couple of division titles and whatever, but it's been nothing to speak of, and they've done, done nothing in the postseason when they've been there. So I don't know. They're, they're a mess right now. And yet here they are, one win away from still winning the division. And a lot will come down to, like you said, what the Eagle focus is, because I do agree with you that Jalen Hurts is going out there on national TV to prove a point, but how does the rest of the team feel? And, you know, it's those are questions that can't be answered. You know, you sit there and you watch Kelsey every week. He says a lot of good things. His press conferences are tremendous. But then you got to go back it up, and some, some weeks they don't. Yeah, and there are teams that die at this point. Like, they're, they – They've mailed it in, or maybe not in the beginning of the season or beginning of the game, but if they, they face some adversity, basically they fold it up. And there's other teams that are like, this is our opportunity to show something in the last part, portion of the season because there's no playoffs. Like, look at the Cincinnati Bengals the last two weeks. Absolutely. I mean, that's a team that, that's a live team right now where I don't know what the Eagles are because, I mean, they fell apart in that game against Dallas, and it's been a long year and quarterback controversy. It's been tough, just very, very tough for them. So I'm not exactly sure what they're going to be so that i out of all those teams which one of them well first of all the question would be can any one of them win a playoff game i think that yeah i think washington can i think they just because of their defense i think they could win a, a home playoff game i think dallas could because i think they can and they do have the potential to outscore a team um will they or who knows and the giants i don't know so you think the giants sure. are the worst out of those three teams not by much yeah, I mean, we're not talking about, you know, it's it's not a big gap. I can't say that the Giants are worse than Washington because they beat them twice. I mean, that's it's hard for sure. me to say that. I'm just talking about an individual game. Can Washington's defense go out and win a game for them? I think they can. I think they can turn you over and make a mess of a game. I think it's possible. Well, I mean, locally and selfishly, I want to see the Giants in the playoffs. Of course. 100%. That's and what listen, I want to see. Win Sunday, and they very well might be. Yeah, I, I I would I would love their chances if they won Sunday because I really do like the Eagles in that game as we sit here today on Tuesday, uh, which could change. I mean, I do think that you know if you have if you have a Alex Smith remarkable recovery and this was the exclamation point on his unbelievable comeback season, that changes everything for me. And I wouldn't rule that out. I I wouldn't either. I mean, that guy, you can't rule anything out. He very well could be there on Sunday. It just feels like we're trending in the Taylor Heineke direction. But if he is there, that would be remarkable. And I just feel different about that team if he's playing. So right now, the question you would have is who could beat the Bucks? Because the Bucks are going to be the five. Yeah, I, you know, you know, I don't love the Bucks. So I know you don't. But I, to me, I, could but, Washington make a mess of that game? Sure, and get after Tom Brady. One hundred percent. I think they could. I mean, I, I would Alex, actually, Alex Smith has to play too. By the way, sure. Yeah, I, I think that in a matchup with Tampa, I think that the Giants and the I agree. Washington Football Team have a better shot at beating them than the Cowboys. I, I would agree. That's not the matchup that I would like to see oh, the Cowboys have. God, would I love that? And and you know, I'm imagine, a Minnesota Vikings fan and not a Giants the fan. Giants beat Brady again. Oh, <laughs> that would be fantastic. And it's possible. It's absolutely possible. He would just be beside himself. And I do like Tom Brady. I just don't like this team. I don't like the uh, assembling of all these guys together. And they really lost me when Antonio Brown joined that team. So th that would just be fantastic if that were the case. You yeah, might get it. I hope so, man. It'd be fun. It'd be some juice. And I know that we're going to get people screaming about, oh, it could go as high as three with the draft choice, as low as 19. You would sign right now for that matchup. Giants, Tampa, with the opportunity to beat Brady in that team. Oh, for sure. If you're a Giants fan, every single time. I agree. I don't even care what you're thinking. Oh, you just, we just went all Adam Shine right there. Every <laughs> single time. <laughs> 
Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the red bell so you're notified when we have new content.